Hello everybody, welcome back to this playthrough of Civilization 6 on Nintendo Switch and in today's episode we are going to continue the war with four civilizations without war with. My god, things got crazy last time out, but we are going to try and take out Poland pretty quickly so then we can kind of get on with the rest of the world. But anyway, before we jump into today's proceedings, I just want to go through a few comments like I do regular. Um, and a few suggestions. I've not linked everybody's name to everybody's comment, but if you did comment leaving suggestions, thank you very much. I know who you are. I do appreciate them, um, and I will be replying to every single one tonight while I um, before I go to bed. Okay, so firstly, we need to try and improve relations with China or something. So should we try and do that now? Um, obviously, everybody hates us in the world because we are being quite aggressive, um, but hopefully we can kind of try and, you know, See if we can come to any conclusions. I don't know. Um, I think somebody said they would didn't kind of hate Poland and have been denounced by Poland and things. Where is your relations with other saves? I found this not long ago. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> yeah, they do not get along with Poland, Gilgamesh, or Persia. Wow, that's just like us. We don't get along with them either. Wow, that's special. And they don't seem to know who the Congo are either, which is weird. But yeah, they don't get along with those three. So maybe there is fruit to be had here with, with being happy with them. Uh, what can we offer them? Um, do, 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 do. I don't know. I think we need to keep trying to sweeten relations before we go for anything else. I wonder if we can offer them a bit of gold. Maybe 100 gold. You wouldn't even accept 100 gold. I'm offering you money to sweeten our relationship. Accept. <laughs> he doesn't even accept gifts. 11 gold for 30 turns. Um, you know, forget that. I tried to give you a nice round gift and you decided you didn't like that. Um, okay, uh, well, we'll think about that. I might come back to that off camera and see what we could do, but... Yeah, we do need to improve relations with China. Hopefully we can do that going forward. Um, did it work right now, though? Um, so we also need to think about observation balloons when we build, um, when we look at building flight things. So I think we can probably build them now. I think we can build observation balloons. And apparently, if you stick a bombard unit on it, um, something to bombard the enemy, um, yeah, we can build observation balloons. You can bombard things within three tiles. So that'd be very useful, as has been pointed out, to getting rid of Gilgamesh on our bloody continent. So that'd be useful for that. Um, we need to check the city-states we're at war with. So we're at war with... Oh, and see where they are. So Nam and Dol we're at war with. Okay, you are quite a way away, so nothing to be worried about there. Although you could theoretically send ships over, which wouldn't be ideal, but, you know, there's worse places to be. We are also at war with Carthage, which, again, not ideal, but I don't see them causing as many problems from there. Wow, look. Three militaristic city-states on there. How? What are the chances of that? Um, we are also at war with Kabul. Are they any closer to home? No. They are behind Persia. They are not getting to us from there. Um, Vilnius, which we know are very close. They actually border us, um, but we're planning on taking them out sooner or later. Probably later right now. Um, and I think that's it. Everybody else we are friendly with. So we don't have to be worried about anyone but Villainous. And I think that is well under control right now. Um, when we build up our navy, I've been suggested to think about aircraft carriers, which we can do as we go along, and also to build corps and armies. So thank you to everybody who did leave those suggestions. I will take them on board. Can't do them all instantly, but as we go along, I'll look at them. Also, a big thanks to Alex, not myself, as I keep saying, but Alex in the comments, who left me a link to all the upgrade paths, which is very nice. I appreciate that, um, and it will help me get my head around some things. Right. So the first thing we need to think about are amenities, apparently, because Aquaria is not a very happy place. Um, because obviously lots of war, although we do a lot of winning in war, which should boost morale, people seem to be getting a bit peed off about it, and they're not very happy. Um, ideally, we don't want to be building an entertainment complex in our sort of, you know, militaristic city, and I don't think we will do. I think we're going to go and build some units. We're going to ignore the people. Um, I don't think it's that bad. I don't think they've been unhappy for long, so I mean it should be fine. Hmm. I'd quite like to try out this observation balloon thing. Let's do that. Go and build an observation balloon. Let's see if we can bombard Gilgamesh of the continent with that. 
That'll be good. Um, and Cairo needs more amenities. Um, but we're currently building a spy, so we can't do anything about that. Um, we can actually range attack as usual. We seem to be able to range attack from here every turn. But that's obviously because um, there's lots of troops. I mean, Persia's arm is getting minced by one guy in a cannon, essentially. It's kind of embarrassing, but, you know, it's better than them actually winning. So, right. So while we're over here, let's just continue on with our war. We can fight. <clears throat> excuse me. We can fire twice from Sana because um, we have a cannon in there as well as the city defenses. So that's something to be happy about. So we'll kill them, and we might actually see what ha we'll see what happens. Ideally, we we get to kill that immortal there. But if we move forward with the musket, um, we'll get attacked. We'll get range attacked by the city, which is not ideal. So we'll see what else the throw is, and we might bring the cannon out to play. Okay. Right, um, ideally I'm looking for production absolutely anywhere, so you can go and work something there maybe, we'll see. Um, Genghis Khan is busy capturing an encampment, which should be an absolute piece of pee now. Um, it should be very easy to capture this. As soon as the walls come down, we're going to walk in. I kind of like fighting these because they're so backwards, it just gives us so much gold. I think it's, we'll wait for the artillery to bombard the hell out of them, and then we'll just walk in. I, I think I prefer that. Come on down, come on, hurry up. The war will be over by the time you get here. Build a mine. Mines are so good, like, since playing this game again, and, and quite a few times, obviously, um, I've come to realise that mines are possibly the greatest thing that man ever invented. And because they are so useful. Um... With you, let's just sod off and build a mine somewhere. I don't know where. Oh, look, we've got a science tile. Yay. Um, maybe the new city down there could do with a builder. One builder charge for all that way. Um, probably not worth it. We're working the cotton there. Could build a farm. You know what? Go and see what you can do on that tile. Go and improve the yield of that tile. Um, we're going to wait here for now. Oh, good, 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 good. I would form a corpse, but I think pulling to that backwards, we have absolutely no need to. And I'd prefer just sort of the... Um, can we bring the walls down here? Apparently not. Um, I prefer just the sort of sheer numbers right now. When we face stronger enemies, we will have to sort of build corpses and stuff. Right, so a trader has been there. Um, I think we'd be better sending that to Homs or somewhere. I really want to build our navy up. It's going to be crucial in winning this war. Okay, what has more production? So you have 29, which is okay, I guess. Not amazing. And you have 23. Now, I'd quite like to just maximize production over here. Because I'd like to go for an aircraft carrier ASAP. 13 turns. Yeah, go there. I'm not that bothered about Homs. I'm more bothered about the other city. Yeah, look. Okay, I mean, either way, we're building towards our navy, so it doesn't matter so much. It would just be nice to get that extra production there. Oh, capture that. Thank you. Thank you, I'll have that build. Appreciate that. Okay, so sooner or later, we are going to be at Lublin. Hopefully this episode. I want to be at Lublin this episode. Right, I really want combustion. Like, I don't really care. I mean, everything else is nice. Ooh, AT, AT crews would be nice, because then we can upgrade our pikemen. And go over that. I was going to go tanks, but... We have a ton of, uh, of pikemen that do need upgrading. Excuse me. Right. Um, I kind of want to work the horses, but we don't... Oh, God. The, they're sending a battering ram. We've got a cannon back there. Okay, yeah, you just storm that. We might as well get rid of it. Kill, kick, kill, kick, kill. Lovely. Yay, 40 gold. Let's celebrate every piece of gold. We make 300 per turn, but 40 gold. Um, and we'll actually bring the... I know the cannon's on a, a path elsewhere, but we will bring him down to sort of capture that barium round. And we'll turn it into a... I don't know if we can capture I think you capture it. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll either destroy it or capture it. Um, and either way, I don't care. Right, you have built a mine. Good on you. 
Um, how's Krakow for housing? Oh, we've been not. We're not even using. But we've got strategic resource there. I'm pretty confident we're not utilizing. Um, I think we we'll probably make more of that. Um, you can carry on sitting in your jeep. Yay. Um, and we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, I think you've been attacked by the city. Okay, back off a bit. When you're upgraded, you will be formidable. But for now, you are rubbish. Again, I'm just creating things that will help with production. That is the aim right now. Okay, our artillery should be in range pretty soon of Lublin. And as soon as that happens, I expect a pretty quick fall. Uh, which I'm very excited about. I have the popcorn on standby. Have we used all our naval moves here? I think we have. Any chance we can get you in range? I think there is. Can we swap you with that? No, we still can't attack them. Oh, that's crap. I really want to stop them getting things into the into Larsa, essentially. Um, but they have a few units in. I'm not worried at all, but, you know. Right, so you've completed that. What I would really like... Oh, we can't build another district here, so that's going to have the window. Um, I mean... We, uh, no. Let's build a unit, then. Let's build a unit. Um, I'd quite like some cavalry. I have the upgrade sheet as a cheat. So I, I meant to memorize this, but I... I'm hoping cavalry upgrades to tanks, but I'm not sure. We'll find out. What do you upgrade to cavalry? Upgrades to helicopter, which is not a tank. Um, so that'd be quite good, because helicopters are very useful on this game. I, I think my other Zulu game I played through, I, I had a lot of use out of them, and they're very mobile. Maybe not so strong at this stage. Melee strength 62. That's pretty decent. Let's get some cavalry going. Let's get some cavalry. They are pretty strong. Um, so Ravana has completed walls, which is very nice. Um, obviously, if China comes calling, we will be more than prepared to deal with them. Because we have walls now. Um, housing's fine. You know, anywhere I could build amenities would be good. Oh, we've already got the full entertainment complex. I think I know it would be very nice here. You know, just on the Chinese border... I think it'd be quite good to have an aerodrome. Because then we can just, if war breaks out, it'd be pretty swift if we can get a, a decent air force involved. I like that idea a lot, actually. Um, city's production 25, not exceptional, it has to be said, but, you know, we can we can deal with that. Um, yeah, I mean, this is just sort of longer term planning, really. We'll buy that tile there, because I quite like where it is. Um, it's a bit of a nothing tile as well. And we'll go and stick an aerodrome there. Get ready, China. For a long time away, we're already fighting enough wars as it is now on its own. Right, you have completed a granary, which has done wonders for our housing. I mean, 18 production. That's not amazing. I'm not... What could we go for? We can't really go for a district because we can't. We could go for a harbour. Harbours are always very nice. And that is a very nice place for a harbour. It would feel a bit silly being under such a, a, an attack. Um, I don't know. I do not know. Alternatively, an aerodrome would be very useful here. I think we could hold it pretty comfortably. I think it'd be more use than a harbour, if, if, we're, if we're being honest. 11 turns? But we can't, we, we'd have to stick it on flat land. And I can't think... You know, I'm just going to build the harbour for now. We need to push these back, we really do, we need a bigger foothold. We can always scrap the harbour if you disagree with it. Um, I imagine you will. But, yeah. It could do with a builder, but obviously we can't use them. Because they could get kidnapped. In fact, a builder would be very good. Go for a builder instead. We can come back to the harbour. Right, get a builder and then we can build some mines, which will make me very happy. Where is the best place to gain a stronger foothold? 
I think capturing Tarsus would be a very nice start. The only problem with that is we have Greece right behind us at that point, but we can't have everything. Right, so we have just founded this city. The best thing we can do is build a builder, which will take a while. Um, can we buy a builder instead? Oh my god, we can, but for a ton of money I'm not willing to spend. Um... my god everything's gonna take so long here you know just get building a builder and then we'll see what happens we'll try and build one somewhere else as well um, but we do need one desperately um and because your production could be pretty decent i think especially if we can grab the oil and things like that we could have okay production there right how far are we in here truth be told i do not know because i did not time this uh oh run away scout run away we can upgrade you, um, but run away. Whoa, lights. Oh, that's a village. Um, I'm, there might be barbarians there, but still. Grab the nice things from the village. Oh my god, Congo are here. Congo, we're at war with them. Absolutely, I don't think they'll do anything either, though. So it's just pointless. Right, so we have reinforcements here. Um, can you just make your way down? I, I, th I think we'll s deal with these reasonably quickly. My biggest fear here is that China going to declare war on us as well. I think that would cause us so many problems. Like, that's when I'll actually, I would start to think we are in a bit of bother. Um, but up until that point, I'm very happy. Why did I put a pikeman there? I think, I think that was a mistake. Well, they're meant to. Do Why are they targeting the cannon? It's the artillery you need to be worried about. Oh well. Just allows us to push on. That encampment's gonna fall this turn very easily, and then we are onto Lublin, which will fall swiftly as well. I'm also gonna withdraw that cannon. Otherwise, death awaits it. A common mistake that people make when trying to design something completely foolproof is to underestimate... Alright, good, we've got that. Um, again, I'm pretty happy with our policies. The only thing I'd consider putting in right now... Plus 30% production towards builders and newly trained... Okay, we could get public works, but I don't think we're on a big builder push, really. What else do we have new? New, 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 new. Okay, skyscrapers. Plus 15% production towards industrial era and later wonders. We're not in the wonder building game right now. Plus two signs. Oh, that's nice. I like the Raj one. That's pretty decent. Um, the only one I consider putting in, though, is the one which gives us a discount. Um, wow, plus 25% gold. Oh, but most cities are on our continent, aren't they? Um, the one that gives us a discount to upgrading units. I think that'd be really useful. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Plus 50% discount on all unit upgrades. Because we are going to need that for the um, pikemen and AT crews. Upgrading them. Um, so we're going to have to do that. How long till our next Civic though? Six turns and how long till we get that? Okay, I think we should put it in now. Okay, very quickly, I put a pause in there. I apologize for that. My brother returned home and we're now almost 24 hours into the future. But anyway, we're going to get back to this. Um, so we were going to put professional army in and I think we are going to do that. I think the one we'll take out is native conquest. I couldn't decide which one would be more beneficial because we are battering Poland, but I think we've battered most of their army now. And I really want professional army in so we can upgrade our pikemen when we get the tech, and we'll take it out as soon as we can, though. Um, I'm leaving the unit maintenance one in uh, because I think we have such a large army that could hurt us a little bit. Well, I'm not sure. We're going to put professional army in for native conquest, and then we will get on with that. Okay, good. Thank you. Um, I would like to change that as soon as possible, though. So, have we picked our new civic? It no, we haven't. Okay, um, Opera Ballet, you know, six turns, let's get that out of the way. I want to change it as quickly as possible back, so we'll have to go for that one. Right, so with our builders, we're just going to continue to boost production wherever we can. That is the plan right now. 
Um, I can't decide if you were meant to be staying or not. I think, we, yeah, we'll let the cannon stay because the battering ram could come and get us. I'm very scared of battering ram. Battering rams are very scary things. We need to try and capture that or whatever. Um, also, Gilgamesh's troops down here. I don't think there's too much to be worried about with that because I think Amsterdam could more than easily take care of them. So we're good, we're good. Right, so we can range attack as usual. It seems to be an every turn thing, this, doesn't it? We can just range attack. Oh my god, we're not going to kill them. That is very sad. I mean, we're not going to kill them then. We are going to kill them now, I think, with the cannon. Bye. Bang. I wonder how strong Persia's military is. Because at the start of the war, it was very strong. But they just keep throwing units at us. Look, it's, it's still the second strongest. Wow. He must be churning out units. Crap units, but still units. Not much to be said for that. Um, so with you... You can come around here. Sort of hold the center. They are holding... Um, move back. They have got quite a few troops coming on here, so we need to be careful we don't sort of do anything silly, but I don't think we need to be worried too much. Can you attack? Can you kill that? Please kill that. We're not going to kill it. We're going to do a bit of damage though, which is a start. How does that survive an ironclad? How does that work? An ironclad is made of iron and has big guns. That does not. We want to get our artillery to the coast to try and bombard anything that tries to come in here. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Do, do, do. Um, keep building. We want to keep building as much as possible to boost production. Um, so you can go over there. I could buy the cocoa, but I don't want to. I want to save all our money for upgrades. I'm very excited about. Can you work anything else? No. Oh, we can go around there, though, and build a farm. So, With that one remaining builder charge, that is what we will do. Ooh, good. Yes, we. Were, I remember putting this here to boost production. Um, I think I don't think we're going to get a better bonus than plus three. Um, Aquaria gives us more gold. We give us one more gold, but less food. Am I that bothered about this city growing? Mm. I'm going to take the extra gold. I'm really not bothered about it growing. It just causes problems because then there's more people to be angry about war. And I, for one, I'm not that angry. I'm very positive about it because we're going to win. As we have now captured this. They're all dead. Now it's just about walking in. You need to run away, Cannon. Otherwise, you're going to die. Which is not recommended. We can actually upgrade you. We can promote you, sorry. Um, versus, yeah, plus seven range strength versus land and naval units. That sounds good. Nice. We could name you, but I'm busy. Right, you can walk in here. Good, good, good. Bang. Bam. Right, now the encampment is ours. Taking that city should be a lot more straightforward because we don't have to worry about being bombarded from over there. We have one charge left. We could build a mine there. I'd have to buy the tile. Oh, we could build a mine there, maybe. That is not flat land. That That is mineable land. Yes. Even more production. More mines make me happy. Right, so we need to make sure our artillery is moving forward. Have you used your movement? No, you haven't. Good. Get yourself forward. Oh, Lublin. I'd worry about... I think we're on part 57. Um, I'd worry about part 58, Poland. I really would at this stage. Your ambitions of reconquering your land have well and truly failed at this stage. And we shall now sweep in and claim ultimate victory. Um, you go and work. Can we build a mine anywhere? Okay, just go and do something with that. We robbed that builder off Poland, which makes me very happy. That will serve them right. Just get rid of the battering ram. It's just an inconvenience. Yeah, you can hold your land in the north. Um, you've built a mine, yes. I respect that. We could build... <laughs> um, go down here. There's stuff to be done down here. 
Is that a hill? It is a hill, so we could actually take the chop this forest down and then build a mine. That's what it's all about. Mines everywhere. Um, you know, I'm so tempted to just chop this down, but then so we're only losing one production. We're not at build here. There's no point. We just build a farm. How many farms do we possibly need? Um, you've got one charge left. Go and use it in something like that. I want a lumber mill. We can't have a mine, build a lumber mill. Okay, you can... Def yeah, we'll save your promo uh, pr promotion. There we go, yep. Um, for a rainy day. Right, good. I'm going to end the part here. Um, I think we're going to have gone over 25 minutes, maybe. I don't know. I'm rubbish with timekeeping. Um, but thank you very much for watching today. Please remember to hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you for all your suggestions. Again, I'm trying to put them in place. We're building as navy as quickly as possible. It's still very slow operation. And we're going to make sure we use the balloons as well as soon as possible with a bomb barge unit. And we'll see what we can do. Keep leaving your suggestions. I will keep taking them on board and replying to you in the comments. So thank you for watching again. And I will see you in another video soon.